So I'm Yuan Dorian Dobrichan, a student at Computer Science in the University Polytechnic of Bucharest and also a front-end developer. Since middle school, I was passionate about informatics and I participated to a lot of competitions. My break in industry was when all the web has employed me and given me an opportunity to work as an intern for them and they learned me all about Volto and React. For this talk, I want to present you how to extend the Volto and paste functionality, the, the copy and paste functionality for more complex blocks. So maybe you know that in Volto we have these copy and paste methods that are very helpful. But let's say that we have a more complex block, like the group block. The group block is a block that has more blocks in it. Uh, can I place blocks in it by default? Let's try. Well, it's not working. Why? Because we didn't add this functionality. We have to extend it. We have the extend copy and paste functions. Why is that? Because Volto doesn't have such complex blocks. So the copy and paste functionality is written just for you know, these simple blocks. Um, actually, I worked for this add-on for this block, uh, one month ago, and I already implemented this feature, but I removed it in order to show you how it was working before. Now let's make it work again. Let's check, and I'll explain you what I did. And just you see. Um, we have some. I don't know why I can't select in this block. Let me check. Maybe I um remove something without knowing it. Okay, let's check again. Okay, so I fixed the error. I was missing some CSS uh, from one add-on. Okay, so you can see this. This you can select, you know, group block and paste and paste in a group block. Okay, let's see how is this done. Well, first of all, we need we need to find the file. Um Where are the here? So first of all, we need a component, the edit block wrapper. Why is this? Well, we need to apply the CSS when you are selecting some blocks. You see this out outline and this background blue. So basically, this component um is a wrapper on the edit. So on the edit, and we are here. We are rendering the block, the current block, the block, and on it, if this block is multi-selected, we are applying this uh, class of CSS. So, um, if it it is multi-selected, uh, we'll um, 
showed that by Bloomberg Grout. This is very easy. Let me show you where is this uh, inclu uh, included. So in the edit, um, you know that we have view and edit and the edit is the component that is shown in the edit mode. In the edit, we have this edit block wrapper here, okay? Um, and we are passing the block, the children that you saw. And we have this property, multi-selected. That is a truth, it's a truth or falsy property. It's a Boolean property. So if the multi-selected array, this is the array that contains all the selected blocks, includes the current block, then it will be true and the CSS class will be applied. And this is how I've done this. Also, we need to see how this multi-selected is uh, created. Well, first of all, we need a function that updates this multi-selected. Also, this multi-selected is a use state uh, variable. This is for rendering purposes. If you know a little bit of React, we will know that we have to use use state in order to update the DOM. So we have this function on select block that is responsible for selecting the blocks. These functions, it, it is also present in Volto Core, but it is not suitable for us. Why is that? Because we have a complex block and we have to override it. So this on select block it is included here on blocks toolbar, which is the component that it's rendered here. So we are basically overriding the default function of the on select block. So how is on select block working? Well, first of all, we have to figure out if we are uh, on selecting something, if we are multi-selected something. I mean the event. So what is the event? What is happening? We have to press the shift key and select another block. So how are we checking if we are multi-selecting? Well, if the shift key is pressed or the control key is pressed or the meta key is pressed, then we are multi-selected. We are multi-selecting something. Control key is used to deselect something. And we are passing this information in on our on select block. We are also per, uh, passing the selected block, which is the current block, and the ID. Okay, so now in the on select block function, what are we having here? So first of all, in order to rewrite our new uh, multi selected uh, use state, we need to create an empty array and put the new selected block there. So we created the new multi-selected, which is an empty array, and the selected, which is the ID that we given. The selected is a selected block. If you are multi-selecting something, that this variable was passed from before. The selected is null. And here is a little bit com more complicated. Why? Because a block in Volto is made up by two parts the blocks layout and the blocks. Here are some informations about the blocks that we are not interested in, but in the blocks layout are the IDs of the blocks inside the block. So in the block layout, we have this item scheme where are the IDs of the block. So we have the a slate block, let's say, the ID of the slate block, I don't know, uh, slate block. So we need to extract these from our data. This is how the group block is working. In order to extract them, the blocks inside the block, we need to first get this uh, property, blocks layout. We have a function for this. It is called get blocks field name because maybe you have a more nested blocks layout. So this is a already implemented function for us to help us. 
after we got a field name, we are making data dot data blocks layout field name and we enter here and then dot item. So we got the items inside our block, the all the items of the section block. These are items, the IDs, the IDs of them. So now we have to um to create the range of the blocks we are selecting. So how are we going to do that? Well, we have the anchor and the focus. The anchor is the first block and the focus is the last block. How are we going to find the anchor? Well, um, if we have some, if multi-selected is not empty, so we have some blocks and already selected and we are extending, extending them, we'll get the first, the index of the first multi-selected block. If multi-selected is empty, we are getting the active block. The focus is the ID of the current block, right? So if we have anchor equal, equal with focus, focus, this means that we selected just one block. So new multi-selected is equal with the ID. Else we need to get the, um, the range. So we are making a slice in the IDs from anchor to focus or focus to anchor depends on which is bigger. Now we have to uh, implement the deselected case or the control elemental key. So if you are pressing control on a block and this block is present in the multi-selected already, we are deselecting it. So we are removing it, in, we are removing it with the without function. Otherwise, we are adding it. Let me show you. So if I'm pressing control, comma, uh, control, you see, I deselected it. If it's not present in the multi-selected, we are adding it. This is what we are implementing here. And after that, we are just setting the selected block to the selected and the multi-selected blocks with the new new array that we just created. created. Okay. So this is how we are managing uh, this multi-selected uh, property. But we need to pass this uh, to the default function to extend them. So what are you going to do? Well, in the blocks forum, we are going to uh, rewrite this on select property from the default to the our new function and in the blocks toolbar also we are doing the same to override the default also we need to put here the selected blocks to the blocks toolbar in order to make volto know that we are selecting some blocks with our multi selected so we are basically um, with this component which is blocks toolbar we are rewriting or override the default functions from these buttons from the toolbar. So you see if you are copying something, you are receiving these two. Uh, this, we are, we are shown that we have to uh, copy the items. This is made possible by, by this selected blocks property that is multi-selected, uh, our multi-selected. Okay. So we also need to discuss how to paste inside our uh, block. So until now we are we just discussed how we are pasting from our block to the outside. Now we need to know how to copy from the outside and paste in our block. Uh, there is a function in Volto Core which is called on change blocks that is basically just doing this but it is not good for us why because the default we already i already told you is not working with these such complex blocks that have that has with that have um, multiple blocks in it so we need to change it so we are creating a new function called change block data and this change block data is uh, implemented uh, here so let me explain what is happening here. 
So this section block has this schema. We have the blocks property, blocks, and the blocks layout property, which has the IDs, items, where are the IDs? And here is a schema of the selected blocks. So let me show you. Let's say that we have the, the first ID and the second ID. Here, the first ID is, uh, let's say it's, uh, it is shown what it is. So let's say it's a slate block and maybe if it has something in it, I mean, let's say some, I don't know. Um, let's see, that's it. And the value, let's see. And also for the two. So what is doing this? Uh, what What is the default function? What is happening with it? The default functions is adding here. It's adding here. Let's say that we are, we have, we need to copy something. The default functions, the default function is adding here the new IDs that we just copied. But this is not right. We have to put it here in the items. But the default function doesn't know about this. So what I did, I let's say I corrected the block, uh, the block data. So we, I am receiving this new block data from the Volto core, but it's broken, as I said, because the pasted items are not inside here, are outside. Because this is how the Volto is doing it. So I am basically uh, correcting, uh, correcting this data. So how I am doing it? Well, I need to find out which are the pasted blocks that we I that I added. So I'm making a filter, which is very easy. So I'm looking for the so I'm looking for the in items. I am comparing block ID with um, what I have, what I had uh, before. So data to that data is the uh, current state of the block and new block data is the uh, data that is broken, that the new data after the paste, but is broken. So basically I'm, if the, my uh, old data, had these IDs and the new data is having these IDs. Basically, I am I am searching for the new ones here with a filter. I also need to find out um the index of the selected block. Why is this? Because I need to know from where to uh, put the pasted elements from where to where. So I am getting the selected block. Let's say that I have copied here. So I need to add from this block in down. I'm um, getting the index. And now I am restructuring the new data. So I'm putting the old data in here. I am destructuring the new block data, but the blocks layout are broken here. So what I am going to do, I am going to put the items until the items before the selected index, the items after the selected index in and between them, the pasted blocks. And that's it. And I am calling the default function that was already doing it right, but um the default function after i modified the data 
and basically uh, that's it let me show you how the new data was coming and how i modified it in order to uh, make you understand better so this is the new block data and this is what i am what i modified Let me refresh and I will show you. So first, first thing first, let's get some blocks. Create a new section block and paste in. Let's put some and paste. So Um, why I am not, uh... oh yes, wait a second, I have to put it in the right project. Wait a second. Oh uh, yes, so. Let me show you how um the new block data is and uh, what I am doing to it. So I am copying something in the new block, in the section block. So it was working. So new block data. So we said that this is broken. Why? So in fact, we have the IDs, but So when we rearrange them, as you see here, it's not the same order as in here. So we rearrange them in order to uh, look the, in order to um, make the same order here. Let's we pasted it from the selected block and down. And yeah, that's it. So basically to extend the copy and paste property, we have first of all to create a multi-selected array and you have to pass it to the um uh, to the Volto core with a blocks toolbar component blo and blocks for. After that, we also you also need to make sure that pasting inside it's working. So how are you going to do this? Well, you have to change, create a, this change block data that you are passing it to the uh, on change blocks. And here you have to console log what you, you are receiving and make it looking good. And yeah, that's it. Yes. Thank you for your attentions and have a nice day.